Uh, yeah, it has been long, really long. I think it's the longest uh, holiday for me personally in my career. I'm missing foot, missing soccer a long time, so really happy to be back and uh, really happy to see the friends and the teammates. Yeah, we need to rebuild the team again and uh, still a small squad, but hopefully the more is coming and uh, you know we have to make new structure especially defensive side right now this week and uh, next week and we're going to make uh, offensive side probably and a uh, couple games coming and yeah we have to show our quality to get uh, starting 11 position no one had a guarantee so let's work hard and uh, ready for play soccer what have been those early discussions on the group off the last year you know for for all of us for sure surely wasn't the season we wanted last season <coughs> huge disappointed so we need to come back as quick as possible so we need to make good start especially the opening game against inter miami going to be the crucial for us so we need to prepare well they're traveling all up, all over the world so we most of the time we stay here to prepare well, so no excuse for about uh, the fitness and conditioning. So you know, it's big, big season ahead individually for, for me and as a team as well. But still, very exciting. What are your expectations for what this team you know, needs to be like? Whether that's you know winning silverware, um, playing well. What's your expectation for this season? We need to rebuild good defensive philosophy first because uh, end of the last season we conceded many go many goals and of course the soccer is uh, dependent on uh, scoring the goal but if we don't concede a goal at least we can get one point of course we need to get three points but first of all to rebuild the team we need to uh, concrete a defensive base very hard defensive base so that's we are working like not right now and uh, this is a fast um, priority so far and after that we and the Greg are really confident that we have a good strong offensive side so so far we need to build a good defensive side yeah yeah the Galaxy signed uh, Mickey Yamane from the J League uh, did yeah. you have any conversations with him about of course, the Galaxy? Of course, what yeah. did you kind of talk to him about the club? I had a conversation with the club uh, with him I'm really looking forward to meeting him Hopefully he can get a visa as soon as possible and then join us because he, it's going to be the first season for him to play abroad. It's going to be, I would say, it's not easy, but it's better than go to the club. You don't know anyone. So I'm here and then some Shunta is here as well, the medical team. So. I'm not worried about that. Only the concern is uh, his English, the skills. He needs to learn a lot, but you know, Japanese normally working hard. I have no doubt about his soccer skills, and uh, he has good skill on the on the feet, and also the, have good uh, good brain as well. So as soon as he gets experience here or adjusting here, I'm um, I'm sure he can play well. Yeah. What does he bring to the team? What do we expect to see from him? Uh, he's very well understanding the soccer, so I'm sure that Greg, the football, uh, Greg soccer, he can adjust very quick. And also the attacking side, he has a good ability as well. And most of the things, biggest thing is he's winning every title in Japan last four years, and he's fit. He didn't injure it probably last four years, the big injury. So I'm sure he's going to be fit and he can bring some winning spirits, winning mentality and uh, bring some uh, extra, especially attacking side. Of course, he's a defender, so it's, it's helped us a, a lot. Were there any other? Oh, thank you. How can you help? Uh, Maya. Maya. <laughs> Maya. <laughs> Almost same, yeah. Maya, how can you help Mickey acclimate to his new surroundings? Now you've been here I think the, to understanding the tactics, translator, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's sure, that's sure, that's, I can help his uh, language barrier, that's uh, one thing, and also he, I can communicate on the pitch, off the pitch, because most of the 
Japanese player is struggling to adjust to the different culture because we have a very different lifestyle, mentality and uh, it's totally different. It's not only here but also the player, especially young player, go to Europe first time. I was same. I was uh, 21 first time to uh, go abroad to Holland. It was a big, big shock for me. But you know, he's 30, he's more mature, he has more experience, but also on the pitch, off the pitch, he needs help. And we have uh, Zach uh, who's working very well, so I have no, nothing to worry about that, uh, the club side, and also that I can help the, his family as well. So, Whenever you're moving into a new culture, there is that adjustment period. Is Los Angeles a, an easy city to adjust to? I would say very easy, <laughs> very helpful. If you pay a lot, <laughs> you can have everything. You know? Especially it's helped, the, this, the weather help a lot and the food help a lot. Especially we have like area tolerance, we can get everything in Japanese stuff, the food and also the Japanese stuff as well. Helping the Japanese community. Yeah, that, that help a lot for sure, for sure. It's even helping me as well, you know. I was just off, just off before when I was Chauke. It's one of the most biggest Japanese committee they have, but still. LA, it's much bigger, much bigger. So that's that should be fine. Your off season, you went to train with Southampton. Yeah. How long were you there, and did you go anywhere else after that? Uh, you came back? Two. I stay here two weeks, to so extra session by my own, and uh, after that two weeks, go back to Southampton to keep my fitness. After that, go back to Japan, train in the individually with uh, the national team uh, facility. Then have a holiday. <laughs> Sorry, I have to yeah. for my family. Yes. <laughs> then come back earlier here. Then uh, training with a small group with uh, fitness coaches. So I'm pretty okay so far. Yeah. Only the, I need the you know the game level uh, fitness conditioning that I need. So as I said before, we have a couple games coming ahead. So no no worry about that. Yeah. えっと、ま、まずはしっかりと疲れを取ること。ま、休みが長かったんで、うん、ま、ある意味こう今まで蓄積されてきた疲労を1回ずつ取るのにはすごくいい時間だったのかなと思うので、ま、そこから自分のや
目が向けられてるっていうのはある意味チャンスだと思うので結果を出して、まあ、ドジャースに来る方々が少しでもこのスタジオに流れてきてくれたら嬉しいなと思います。No, I haven't. It's,、uh, I think it was, it's a great idea to, to, to get all together t h e n done everything、uh, for one day. Yes, just,、uh, yeah, as you say, it's really long. But you know, one sacrifice helps、uh, a lot of players in the squad. So I'm happy for that. <laughs> But it was a great experience. It was a great experience, yeah. <laughs>